it and I'm going to give you your appeal rights. So that means that you can ask all the questions you want about this. But basically what we're telling you is that, um, that you're doing daycare. Uh, you are unlicensed. So no person, firm, partnership, association, or corporation shall operate, establish, conduct, or maintain a child care facility without a license. Um, you're currently taking care of children that are rela not related to you without your license. Ms. Branham has already applied for a home daycare license by signing up for an orientation and completing the required application forms. So citation is cleared. Okay. Okay. So there's two things that I want you to sign. Can I write that down? Yeah. Yeah. I'm away. Yeah, I'm away. I'm up. He's not gonna look at me. <laughs> so, my supervisor and I are gonna sign this, and then we're gonna have you to sign it. And it's two pages. This is a page that says um, you don't have to do anything because we already know that your application is in. Okay. In okay. that box, yeah. As best oh. as you can. Okay. okay. Get in there. That's the second page. And then this is oh, the, saying. the first page. Okay, you just don't. You want some juice? Well, we've been trying that for a number of months now. Um, so. And this is the first yeah, she page. told me that then, too. <laughs> I mean, when, when I first bought the ticket, she said, but I don't know what the hat's going to give you. You can, um, I'm going to be coming down there on the 16th if you would put that one aside and then when you, when, um, how soon before you get your other check, you can put that aside and then you can give it all to me at one time. Okay. Uh, okay, let me know how you want to get it to me. All right, all right. So since we're here, we thought we would do as much as we can on your pre-licensing so to kind of get this started. Now, um, I just want to let you know that you're in a very uh, different situation mm -hmm. and we're going to try to work with you as much as we can. Okay. Okay. Um, we have to get an okay from, uh, from her supervisor. We've been talking with her. So we want to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to read this report to you. This is a facility evaluation report, and this is for pre-licensing. LPA Lisa Dyer. Let's put my supervisor's name on here. There Ann Robinson conducted an unannounced pre-licensing inspection due to a location change. You give me Perhaps. Perhaps. What? No, the baby. Oh. Oh, she doing that where she's kind of looking at you. Oh, kind of, but not, huh? The home was toured to consist of three bedrooms, one bathroom, living room, and kitchen. Applicant would be utilizing the living room, one bedroom, and the bathroom for our daycare area. Off-limit areas are two bedrooms and the kitchen. These areas will be inaccessible by closed and unlocked doors, doorknob covers, gates, and visual supervision. No stairs inside the home. Isolation area for sick children will be in the bedroom. There are no toxins accessible today. There is a wall heater in the hall and in the living room. Both will need to be screened. There is a 2A10BC fully charged fire extinguisher, a working smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector, and a first aid kit. There are toys and play space available. 
For the applicant, there are no firearms or bodies of water on the premises. Uh, applicant has cell phone and home phone. There's one adult that lives in the home. Applicant has completed CPR first aid and preventative health training. The applicant is renting the property and verification was viewed. So I said I would look at that. I'm going to look at that when I come back next time. Okay. Backyard is currently not safe for child play and will not be licensed. Children play at the park. Pets consist of one small dog. The applicant was requested to address the following items prior to the issuance of a license. Approval of department and director will also be needed. Number one, we want to screen the wall heater. So we're going to put something around them. If you need some inf uh, some help about that, I can send you something to kind of give you some ideas. Okay. Screen the fireplace. So if I'm two, I walk up there, I reach up there, and I pull it down. So what people usually do is if they can do something, they'll put those um, those straps and hook it on the side. The Velcro? If, uh -huh, okay. You could do that. If you don't want to do that, you got one screen here. You can put another screen on top of that. If you can't do either of those, then you, if you have a toy, that's you, a... You mean this right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. put that on the wall heater because it gets hot and it gets hot. Well, she's not going to be able to use it when it's on. Oh, okay. Oh, no, not for the heater. I'm sorry. I'm talking, talking about, about the, the fireplace. fireplace. I'm sorry. Okay. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So use that for the fireplace you could and then use you'll that, send me something for the heater. Or if you have, let's say you have a, a toy kitchen. Or you have a bookshelf. Oh, just kind of block it. Yeah, you want oh, okay. you don't want the kids to get in there and, and under it. No, so no, then, that's do you use it? Mm -mm. Okay, mm -mm. so then if you put something in front of it, that won't be a problem. Okay, so you can block it that way. Um, cover your outlet. So we need to make sure that all of your outlets have the little things inside them. Uh, remove the computer cords. We talked about that. Put the two safety locks on the two doors. Those are the doorknob covers. Okay. Um, secure the hole in the bedroom. Remove ha move the hazardous items in the bathroom out of reach of children. Okay. So those are the things. If you two, you coming in, you can able to pick those up. You're gonna put those in a higher shelf. So okay. you can either in install the shelves, or um, you can put those items in the um, hallway. Okay. Or if you have a place underneath where you can lock it, you can put anything. If you have a lock. Okay. So you just, just put, put them it in, in the hallway. Here the off limit areas. Oh yeah, and the um, and the office cabinets in the living room. And being able to climb. Now I know you gave me something that doesn't make holes for that. Is there any suggestions that don't make holes for that? For the cabinets. I know we talked about it in the room. I can just take that. Oh out. yeah, that cabinet. We were talking yeah. about that one, but we forgot about that Is there any non holish um, ideas you guys have for me now? Yeah, see. if you guys can send me something later, great. If not, I'm just take them out. I don't even want to. Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to be stressing out okay. like that. So uh, latch the dryer. Okay. And I can show you that. Remove the pillows in the kitchen. You've done that. Secure your off limit area. So that means that. We talked about the knobs on the doors, but if you have a gate, you can put your gate where you want your children in or you want your children to stay out of. Okay. And then that way you don't have to worry about them being in areas where they shouldn't be. Okay. And then um, the fingerprinting of the landlord. Okay. So um, I guess you can show him this report. Um, if he needs to talk to somebody, you have my number and he can. Can we actually just walk over there right now? Uh, That's I fine. Know. If yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, he okay. is. <laughs> So this home building is located in a lot with two other structures, all with the same address and utilities connection. There are at least three other businesses that operate on the same lot. No other person lives on the property but does business daily with various people coming and going. All mail is delivered to the main office. The unit request for care has its own separate entrance. The entrance to the family chapter home is facing the back of both structures. A ramp is used to enter the family chapter home. There's a black iron gate closing the side and backyard of the structure. The yard is not safe for children. There's overgrown vegetation, wire gardening, fencing, unlocked sheds, doors to the shed that will not close, broken toys, and a play structure with peeling paint and splintered wood. The large garden with various grown vegetables are overgrown with weeds and exposure to children is on the yard. And exposed to children. And exposed to children on the yard. The applicant is requested the yard be placed off limits. A new facility sketch showing the area will be off limits if needed prior to licensure. The applicant understands that if this home building can be licensed for care, it will be her responsibility 
to ensure that children do not have contact with adults that are not fingerprint clear. Licensing is requesting that the landlord who is present on the property daily and would have contact with children to go through the clearance process. So um, I'm going to give you a chance to ask any questions that you want. I'm also going to give you appeal rights. Um, we're going to sign this. When I come back the second time, when you're ready with these items, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with you. Um, we're going to go over the forms and a couple more things. Okay. And also when I come back, um, it's going to be an appointment. Okay. It's not going to be on now. Um, so does he have a time limit on the fingerprinting? How long do you think it's going to take you to do everything? 